Hello. We're the Porters. John and Tracy. And <laughs> welcome to our kitchen. Yeah. So we uh, cook dinner together most nights. No, I do most of the cooking. <laughs> Just pointing that out. <laughs> you do not. Full disclosure. You don't do most of our cooking, do you? Okay, I do a lot. <laughs> I was like, liar. Big liar. No. <clears throat> no, we cook together. Not like this close to each other because that would be too much. Sharp knives, dangerous. Right. It's just be too much for us to be this close together all the time. Because as you know, or maybe if you don't, we do also work together and we have been married for 28 years. 734 so we're years. The old married couple <laughs> who does everything together. Yeah. <laughs> so Anyway, we're gonna cook a one of our very favorite recipes, one of our favorite, favorite family recipes, um, our chicken pot pie, which we make a lot. And and uh, actually, you know what? She was right at the beginning. She she pretty much cooks this one exclusively. I'm the chopper. <laughs> John is the chopper because years ago I had a digital nerve surgery, so chopping hurts my um, hand. So he is a really good fast chopper. And you know, it's a great excuse to not chop. <laughs> so this recipe um, is one that is a crowd pleaser. Company loves it, our kids love it. We have four teenage boys and they absolutely love this. When we say, what do you guys feel like for dinner? Pot pie always comes up or meatloaf comes up or you know, steaks on the grill of course come up. But um, you know, they love this. It's just something that is easy to make and it is so delicious and we make it it's mostly healthy. I mean, you know, it's got butter and cream in it, but those are good things. Yeah, it's all good. A lot of vegetables. Yeah, so it's a, yeah, it's a ton of vegetables. And, you know, the thing about it that I would always say is just feel free to wing it. Like, if you don't like some of the things that we're putting in it, again, this is one of those recipes, you're not going to mess it up. You can, you know, if you're not into the peas and corn that we add in, then, you know, don't add them in. Like, a lot of people put pearl onions in their um, pot pies, and our kids really don't like pearl onions, so... We don't put them in. We didn't, we didn't put mushrooms in it. We don't have the mushrooms on the menu. Sometimes we have mushrooms. Yeah, it just depends. We usually don't put mushrooms in it, but okay. but we usually do, you know, the same ingredients. Um, you know, we always start out with carrots and celery the and mirepoix. onion. Yeah, a nice mirepoix. And, um, well, I mean, we may as well just get it going. Let's actually. get going. Get, you, uh, can you might not move it your hand. You can follow it up. I'm going to chop now. Okay. So, she's. Okay. Um, so. John's gonna chop and I am going to actually put the, uh, I'm gonna start with the chicken stock um, in a uh, smaller pan with a little bit of better than bullion, one of my favorite oh, things. Oh, oh, God, I'm kidding. <laughs> You're gonna love this video. Better than bullion, one of my absolute favorite things. And no, this is not an ad for them at all. I just happen to love their stuff. Um, so I start that out in a pan, and then I also start out um, four tablespoons of butter in our huge pan. And um, to that, I add all of the um, carrots and the celery and the onion and we'll let that go for a little bit. Um, but, oh, you doing it right there? <laughs> I'm gonna do my uh, best Dan Aykroyd uh, impression uh, from Saturday Night Live where he impersonates uh, Julia Child where she cuts herself. Oh, right, right. oh, oh must be bleeding. <laughs> oh, oh, it's only, oh boy, get a little lightheaded. <laughs> I will tell you, we normally, um, please get those pretty good impressions. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> We normally make two huge pot pies, but for you, we're just gonna make one. Um, so this morning, I literally had to kind of, you know, normally we wing the whole thing too. Like we don't use recipes for pretty much anything we cook, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I actually have to write this one out. So yes, we did that. We actually made a recipe because I was worried that if we didn't, then it would be harder to follow. So anyway, we're gonna keep going and um, chopping and getting everything else going. So on uh, 
medium low heat. We start the vegetables, um, you know, just the mirepoix, and it's just in a few tablespoons of butter. And then I do salt them right away and kind of let them go for I think like maybe 10, 15 minutes until they're just, you know, a little bit soft. And um, and we do a lot more vegetables, I think, in our pot pies than most people do, but. Um, you know, it's always good to sneak in the veggies when you can. <laughs> so we learned uh, when we had four kids under the age of six that we really had to do some shortcuts. My mother, who is an amazing cook, was the one who really kind of gave it to me one day. I was like, I don't know why you're doing everything from scratch because there's absolutely no point to it. You have four children, like cut some things out. And so, you know, that was the best advice and it's so good. So. Right then and there, I stopped making my own homemade chicken stock. I stopped making all of my own homemade doughs, and I decided as far as chicken went in the pot pie, um, there's no reason that I couldn't buy deboned chicken instead of roasting the chicken myself and doing, you know, I, I kind of had this, like when I was younger, I had sort of this Puritan view of like, I needed to do everything, <laughs> make it all perfect. My mom was like, you know what? Even I am not doing some of that stuff right now. Like she always makes her own stock and stuff, but you know, she was like, they make very good pre-made doughs. So it saves so much time, I cannot even tell you. If you want to do it all from scratch, be our guest. But for us, the, the little shortcuts really save time. So this is another really great thing um, to have for like chopping parsley or any herbs. A mezzaluna. If you don't have one, you must get one. This one was my grandmother's and I treasure it, but it is the best tool. They come in double blade and single blade. I prefer the single blade, but look how wonderfully you can chop parsley with this. And you know, you just saw it across and then keep bringing everything in. I, we use this constantly for cooking. So like I said, it's mezzaluna and you can buy them, you know, pretty much anywhere online. So next we add the flour, very important element to give it the depth. And uh, you have to stir it for a minute and a half. And um, Tracy wanted me to tell some story, but I'm just gonna stir it for a minute and a half. <laughs> Some some intriguing story about my childhood with pot pies and frankly we just had Swanson pot pies that we bought frozen at the uh, grocery store. So um, nothing too magical about that. Now this, on the other hand, I thought I liked pot pies before. These are amazing. This is amazing. It is amazing. That was funny. That was good. I guess I shouldn't be coaching you at all. <laughs> So again, this goes for about a minute and a half to two minutes. Got to stir it the whole time. And then we're going to add um, the uh, stock in. Probably getting close. We're going to add in the stock. It's got to be hot. We've created a roux with the butter and flour on the vegetables. And we're going to pour this in and then stir it until it's thicker, thick-ish. Yeah, and that flour will add uh, lots of thickness to it. Yeah, and it doesn't, you don't need to go crazy um, thick. You just, you, you'll be able to, we'll It's already show thickening. You. Yeah, it's, you know, pretty. It's already getting like. Kind of pretty quickly. It's like clam chowder now and it's yeah. turning into cement. Yeah. Let me turn the heat down just a little bit here. Yeah. yeah, like it's already really kind of thick, but you want to cook it about, you know, a minute. So if it gets a little too thick, uh, add some more stock or water, whatever, just to get it so it's a nice, smooth consistency. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, you can kind of see. Gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. So um, at this point, we um, you take it off the heat and you add in your cream and frozen. Um, peas and corn. Like I said, we go, we do add a lot of vegetable to ours. Um, we add in our parsley now, and um, you can do a whole head if you don't have anything else to do with parsley. It's not gonna be too much parsley, it'll be fine. That's why I always, you know, with cooking, I feel like you can really go this way or that way, depending on your ingredients are. If we were baking, it'd be a different story. But with cooking, you know, you can, you can substitute things. You know, this could be turkey or, you know, 
or lobster. Oh. <laughs> lobster. Chicken. And then um, just season it to taste. I don't give exact measurements on um, salt and pepper because everyone has such different salt requirements these days. So for us, we go pretty heavy on uh, pepper. We love pepper. And um, as far as the salt goes, um, you know, I do it like kind of like a tablespoon at this point. And then, you know, I do a pretty fair amount of pepper. So we use this huge pan, which weighs 12,000 pounds. <laughs> Thank you, Mom, I, I love it so four. much. We use it all the time. I literally cannot myself do it myself. Um, so one of the boys usually has to help me do this part, or if John is nearby, he helps me do this part. But we also love cooking our pot pie in cast iron. This is, we have my grandmother's um, cast iron pans, and I love them so much. They're so wonderful. It's like. You know, they're like treasures, but look how beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I hope you guys can really see this. It's so gorgeous, but you know, it basically goes up to the top of this gorgeous pan. And now you're gonna roll. And now I'm gonna roll. Tracy, um, Tracy on a roll. So I do, like I said, I use um, a pre-made dough. It's just, it's fine and it's wonderful. Um, and I always take it out of the refrigerator just a tiny bit before I unroll it. Otherwise, it kind of sticks to itself. So that's one of my little tricks. And then I just put it on a lightly floured surface. A little more flour on the top. Grab just a tiny bit more flour. And I roll it. You know, you have to make sure, of course, that you're rolling it um, so that it's um, bigger than your pan. <laughs> because if it's not at least a half inch bigger than your pan, um, you won't be able to do a nice crimp along the edge, and that just makes the pot pie so pretty, and, and pretty pot pie matters. <laughs> so, and so then what I do, uh, you know, I can usually tell, like, oh, we're about there. And then I just fold it into quarters because that makes it really super easy to move. And then... I lay it down. I could have gone maybe a hair more. Okay. Yeah, it's about. It's just about right. And then, um, and then to crimp the edge, super simple. But basically, I just take one finger underneath and two on top, and I just go along and just you know pinch it um, as I am going. Um, I could have gone just further um, with the dough, just a little bit further out. And then the egg wash. Um, you know, you can put it on with a brush if you want to. Um, I'm one of those people who just puts it on with my hands because that's, again... And an egg wash makes it brown, right? Yeah, an egg wash just kind of makes the dough like really pretty and kind of shiny. and golden -y. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And you can put salt and pepper on top of this if you want to. You don't have to. Um, but yeah, it just makes it like just very, very pretty. And then we just um, pierce the uh, top of it. Boop, boop, boop. And that's it. And then we put it in the oven and uh, leave it in for about an hour on 375. Should I do that now? You can do that now. Thank you, darling. Okay. So nice to have someone to help. <laughs> but it's gorgeous. And it's also, you know, once we pull it out, we serve it, um, we let it sit, you know, for probably, I don't know, 15 minutes at least. You know, our kids are always ready to dive into it, but. And dinner's so, made. And dinner's made. It really is kind of nice. Usually we're, we don't eat until around 8 o'clock at night, so this is sort of nice that it's they don't, early. They don't know what time it is. That's true. You don't know what time it is right now. It's whatever time <laughs> it is when you're watching this. Time for porter pot pie perfection. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. Oh. This is why John does this part. I can't. Well, it's the cast iron. Oh, and... look at how pretty it is. Look at that. That's great. Close the oven and get it. Sorry. Heat. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is absolutely gorgeous, yummy. Mm. See how golden and pretty the crust is, and it's all bubbly and beautiful. And, and if you have a strong man in your kitchen, <laughs> strong man, strong like bull. <laughs> all right, bon appetit. Enjoy. Make your pot pie. Tell us if you made a pot pie. Cheers. Look, it's a child sighting. <laughs>